Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Butter here. This is one of the best games for today, uh, December 21st, 2022. This is the battle between Milwaukee Bucks, um, and they will actually be visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. That game will happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread given in here is actually minus 2. And that's given towards the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, before we proceed, let's check on the standings and the rankings of both teams, both belonging to the Eastern Conference. Now, starting off with uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the Bucks, by the way, are they are the number one team in the East, but not only that, in the entire NBA, with a record of 22 wins and 8 losses. Now, for Cleveland Cavaliers, they are right there at number 3 in the East, with a record of 21 wins and 11 losses. Alright, so here we go. Um... Cleveland Cavaliers, they would have uh, the advantage in terms of home court. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, both teams had their rest last night. And in terms of momentum, um, this one's a bit tied, you know, a bit tied up. Um, both teams approaching this game uh, with uh, winning 7 out of their last 10. Although we have to admit, um, Cleveland Cavaliers might have a bit of an edge because um, approaching this game, the Cavs have won 4 straight, while Milwaukee, they have won back-to-back, -back, right? And let's go ahead and take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Now, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, I only see one name down here. That's Chris Middleton, and he is actually listed as questionable. Now, uh, for Cleveland Cavaliers, I see Windler, Dean Wade, uh, Rubio still out, and then Lamar Stevens listed as questionable. Um, so I got to pick. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks on this one as again Cleveland Cavaliers still got four names down here not really sure how you know uh, what the what the possibility of Stevens suiting up and you know playing for this game neither for Middleton so let's just keep an eye okay All right so going back to uh, the spread earlier that's minus two given to Cleveland Cavaliers now despite of the fact Milwaukee Bucks uh, they are the number one in the East they are the number one in the NBA seems like uh, the bookies are actually siding towards Cleveland Cavaliers because of one thing, and that is uh, momentum. Why? Take a look. Cleveland, they are at home. Take a look. Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, they got uh, four wins straight. All right? Now, those kinds of things are things to be, you know, to be checked, for real. You know, I'm not saying discard them. As a matter of fact, we actually talk about them a lot, you know, on these videos, right? But for me, man, we're talking about Milwaukee Bucks down here. They've been together for quite some time now. We're talking about Milwaukee Bucks down here. We're talking about champions right here, all right? So um, whenever uh, you are uh, the champion, all right, um, I know they're not the defending champion because Golden State just captured that. But for sure, Milwaukee Bucks is still want to you know taste the championship yet again and if you are one of those uh, champion type teams um and you know that uh there's there's a, currently there's a team uh who's a bit hot like you know how cleveland uh is doing right now you are prepared you know you are prepared um and you are actually looking at this particular game or date Right now, Cleveland Cavaliers. Don't get me wrong; they are very much capable of putting a stop. Not really a stop, but maybe, uh, maybe manage what uh, Yanis can do inside the court because they got one thing: size. All right, they got uh, Allen, they got uh, Mobley, they got Kevin Love. Um, they got the size which you actually need if you would want to put um, some size, some weight, uh, so that uh, Yanis would be a bit, you know, would be a bit less than. Uh, he uh, who he normally is but there's one thing that Milwaukee Bucks has uh, to actually counter that counter of Cleveland Cavaliers if you know what I'm saying number one of course they got Yanis right number two Yanis is a willing passer right number three they got size too <laughs> that's the you know that's the that's the beauty of the this Milwaukee Bucks team um, you would want to counter them with what you have which is size man they got size as well they got Brooke Lopez they got Portis they got uh, they got a couple of other bigs or centers that you can actually put in the court, and still they will be effective. That's outside Yanis added the Kumpu. Right now, again, we're not even talking about their capability to uh, to make threes, to counter those rebounds and all those shit. Um, I'm not a Milwaukee Bucks fan, man, but uh, this comparison, Bucks, Cavs, 
it's just you know it's just no match uh, for me I know this would this one would be exciting but uh, this one should be sided towards Milwaukee Bucks I don't really see any reason right now um, for us to really believe that Cleveland Cavaliers is a better team is more more especially than the Bucks they are the number one right now I mean if only maybe a couple of players for Bucks, a couple of stars are out, then maybe we would be picking Cleveland Cavaliers. But in, in situations like this, Bucks, they're even having have like back to back wins approaching this game, right? So I really don't understand uh, the reason behind that uh, minus two. Again, except for the fact that uh, Cleveland is at home and then Cleveland is having that is riding that four game winning, you know, uh, four game winning streak approaching this game. So my pick on this one would uh, be Yanis and his boys. That's Bucks. Plus two. Let's take that plus two and uh, make that uh, as our, you know, some sort of safety net on this bet. Again, that's bucks plus two. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.